Hello my friends, today we have some sort of repair video and this particular video I gonna try to make sure this old iPhone 3GS um, will, will have a replacement battery and it's not gonna die at the moment I pull the cable off. So, um, happened to have someone gave me this phone like a really long time ago and I couldn't bring it back to life and they just completely forget that gave it to me uh, to repair and just abandon it and this phone is super super old uh, I don't know probably like six or something years years I have it and just sitting in my drawer and I just happened to get the cheap battery for this dude and like like why would I just repair it just for sake of it like to keep, uh, to keep around and show people how the iPhone things uh, iPhone look used to look uh, back at the time and it's relatively in good shape a little bit cracked back over here but it's still okay not too too damaged there's some crap on it anyways so I decided to actually go and repair it so let's do it quickly first of all I have to open it put new battery in and maybe to see maybe there is something else going on along right, the way I have this new battery I got uh, but before I do all this jazz I'd like to actually check if this battery is any good because who knows First of all, it took like forever to get it here because of the quarantine and stuff. And here we are. So we have voltmeter for this. And just let's check the polarity and it measures what? It measures shit. 1.6 volt. Yeah, I'm not sure how good is this battery is. Okay. Maybe they sold me like shitty battery saying like yeah yeah it's new and crap like that. Hmm. You see this is totally could happen. They can sell you like crap battery. Anyways uh I will still continue. At least I will disassemble this thing and we at least do a tear. Okay, there's uh, two screws over here and let's uh, try to open it quickly. I use the smallest a uh, Phillips screwdriver I have. Looks like no one actually opened this one ever. Okay, uh, in order to continue further we need this sort of kind of suction device. So we're gonna put it in here, I, th I think. Uh, and do something like that. And here we are, we are in. Hmm. Not sure how three is supposed to open. Just pull. Okay, just pull. Okay. Alrighty, what do we have here? We have a little bit of crud, so it has to be cleaned up. Uh, cans are not soldered. Let me poke around here if I can lift this can. It's not easy. So, from what I see, uh, there are two big cans. Uh, speakers and charging port are on the bottom. All this connected by these four. Uh, it's very nicely numbered, you know, six, five, four, seven. Um, SIM slot is over here, obviously. Uh, display is over underneath. In order to actually take a look at the display, I have to like pull all this goodness away. Uh, this is what is this button over here, and the camera right there. So this is the camera unit. What is on this side? There's no obviously front-facing camera, as far as I know. No. So let's make it much simpler device. This is probably, I don't know, this is a speaker. Oh, it's a microphone jack. Microphone jack, yeah, those good, but those good times when they still had the microphone jack. And yeah, this is it. It's probably microphones over here for speak for speech. Like here is one, there is another. No, those are speakers. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to pull all this out. Uh, I will probably not. Okay, but because our main goal is to actually take a look at the battery. S sorry, it's a screen. Yeah, there's no battery here. Right? Yeah, 
there are there are, by the way this is screen and two sensors so over here so it looks like to, in order to get to battery I still would have to like pull everything out hmm good for you guys it'll be some more good video okay so let's continue then let's uh, remove all this now this is Wi-Fi antenna looks like judging by the connector all right decided to zoom in to have a better view over here and uh, okay so I disconnected this one and this one is looks like it's Wi-Fi antenna uh, I'm not sure if I have to what is this this number six is another maybe there was Bluetooth antenna this is Wi-Fi mm. What is this? It's a, mm, another one fancy. Look at this nice square rectangular contact here. Sweet. I love it. Okay, let's start unscrewing all this. Because battery is highly likely right behind it. That's not really user friendly or repair friendly kind of design. You have to like pull everything in order to get to battery. Shh, I hate this. But Apple never thought or considered any repairability of their units, so yeah. SOL. It says do not remove whatever it is. Okay. Oh yeah. Whatever is do not remove will be removed and there is a screw right here. Oh yeah. Now I can remove. It's to prevent people of fixing their iPhones. Oh, it's a big contact over here. And in order to do this, I have to remove this, looks like. It's good I'm recording video, I would be able to remember everything that I've done. not budging let's use something less sharp oh just like that okay hmm does this look to you like it has a water damage it totally does look to me but there's no any extensive water damage so I assume we would be okay but obviously I have to would have to clean this shit up okay so here is the battery and I think it is glued it is glued so it's, like, it's not the same kind but like 
similar. All right. Alrighty, as you see, I took everything apart. In order to yank this battery out, I had to add a little bit of alcohol here, but it didn't help too much. And also, uh, what I've done, I've turned on my 3D printer, put this part with the battery glued on heat bed and put it to 85 degrees. And that actually helped a lot to uh, dislodge this um, glue over here. So yeah, this battery is gone skin. So it's gonna ditch it. Um, so now let's just put it all together and see if it works. I'm still kind of not sure about this battery because it gives me 1.7 volt, which is too low for a single cell LiPo. But hell, I mean, whatever. Also, I could not resist and I pulled the all cans from the uh, main board. I'm gonna share with you high res images of this little and beautiful board, despite it being like a bazillion years old. What date code is here actually? Let me see. It's 10 months of 2010. It's 1010. 10. Yes, it's tw almost 20 years old. Oh, sorry, 10 years old. Beautiful. It still look good. Pretty. And I obviously gonna go with you about this, this particular chip. So we're gonna capture it in, uh, in details. And you know, we may do some little bit of analysis to see what's, uh, what's interesting here. Obviously on the back side there is nothing else, also I'm gonna clean up all this crud off camera of course to save some time here. All right, I think we have a success. So after um, replacing the battery, putting the phone all together and leave it in on a desk for charging uh, for overnight, I think we have success. So the phone is actually quite a bit operational and it's kind of surprising because originally battery was actually measuring 1.6 volts or something around there, 1.8 and uh, 1.7 and I think it's pretty much gone. I even contacted original battery supplier saying like what the hell is this battery like and this like that. But after a while this phone actually was able to pull out the battery and when I take a look again a battery was actually measuring 3.7 and now it's completely charged and it seems to be uh, completely working well in matter of fact this is something else in addition to uh, to make it to work um, this phone was actually uh, had bricked it was bricked so in addition to uh, changing the battery I had also restore the uh, firmware so now this phone is brand new latest whatever firmware is come um, for this uh, 3GS so here is the original battery it was not uh, too generous with it. I was actually uh, bent it a little bit when I was pulled, tried to disconnect it from the phone. Um, the other interesting thing on the battery, it looks like this battery has a little bit more circuitry in it um, because I don't know what uh, what kind of stuff this is uh, I'll for. I'll put it all in focus and try to peel more off just to show you what's going on here. Uh, 
Okay. Oh wow, that's a uh, quite big jobby. And there are two. And those are probably MOSFETs because they clearly have many pins uh, put to, uh, shorted together. So yeah, those uh, those two are MOSFETs. This I don't know. Not this big guy is. Doesn't even say. I don't even see what kind of chip is that. really hard to see let me kind of ah, the lights hmm well it's really try hard to make up and then this looks also all, um, really hard to make up any numbers and seems like this is only just numbers not like doesn't say for example uh, 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 ST or NXP or whatever so the, but w what I know from my minimal knowledge about this iPhone uh, stuff and battery charging that this is supposed to be Texas Instrument f fuel gauge stuff um, where this Texas Instrument chip is located I do not know for sure probably this bigger job and usually from what I know about this fuel gauge uh, sort of controllers that they are usually come with EEPROM so maybe this little dude is EEPROM not sure what is that little dude over here yeah we have to like double check all this there is some numbers over here BSP 906G HY328 and uh, V0368 so this is all I don't know uh, different markings on this board and I'm also curious if that that can be reused with any other battery potentially no because these guys can be specifically locked to work with this particular battery particular chemistry and with other battery it's gonna be all wonky or it may just not work at all for example some of those controllers if they detect the battery is completely dead they don't accept new battery anymore so if i for example pull this out i may just do experiment like con di and disconnect because this battery is completely gone i won't be able to recover it disconnect and if and for example use that one of my previous tear downs like dell battery connected uh, over here and uh, try to use it it may just say forget it like it may just not work but it may work it depends so yeah this is interesting i'm gonna take a look at this a little bit more in details but i may just uh, um, salvage this little board just for giggles and keep it in my parts bin um maybe went one time because there is a also specific protocol i think it's one wire protocol that you can talk to the to those guys and you can either reset them unlock them and you do all this kind of uh, nice and wonderful things but it is all quite a bit complicated um and i don't have um cycles to actually to dive into it and necessity i don't have necessity to dive into it but i think this is quite interesting to see a battery with uh, protection there is also should be thermistor somewhere here because one of those pins is uh, communication pin another one is thermistor pin as far as i remember um yeah but and the main subject over here it's still working and the battery is as you see it's almost new and um well, it's already sitting like this for a few days so yeah it's gonna be good i don't know why i need that why i fixed it but it's nice to have a piece of uh, history i think it's pretty good uh, shape a little bit back a little bit scratched here but everything else is, seems to be pretty good looking nice well guys thank you for watching hope you found it interesting maybe if you're gonna find this um um vintage phone i would say for these days it's a pretty vintage and you're gonna need to fix it here we are this will be like a little quick guide how to disassemble how to replace battery for example thank you guys for watching see you next time